This is Piers Morgan Live. So for all intents and purposes, it, it's like the real thing? Yes. And it feels like firing the real thing, yeah? Yes. OK, I get it. Okay. I get it. Melissa, you don't like this very much. No, I don't. And we have... I I'll be honest with you, I don't like it very much because my, I've got three teenage sons, they all play these games right. and they love them. But there's something about it being detached in a video screen that something when I see this, this to me is Adam Lanza, Holmes at Aurora, every other mass shooting I've seen, coming vividly to reality. And I agree with you. We have two little boys, 8 and 11, and they're not allowed to pick it up. And I, in fact, after Boston, even though guns were not involved with that, mm. I told them, you've got to stop. This is not the time. There's too many things going on in this world. It's not the time. And if I won't let our kids pick it up, I don't know that I want anyone else's kids to pick it up either. No, see, I mean, David, the problem is my sons, I'm sure, would love to use this. You know, they play other games and they have the Wii's and all the rest of it and they have the tennis rackets and so on. And they'll see it as a natural extension because they're teenagers. But I don't want them to have it. I don't see how this is going to do anything other than make potentially disturbed minds even more disturbed. I want to show you something. These are not bullets. Right. It's a battery pack. Right. It's a, it's a gaming gun. You're, you're, see, here's my problem. Everyone keeps telling me there is no link scientifically between violent video game playing and any of these atrocities. And yet we know that Adam Lanza was addicted to Call of Duty and stuff like that. We know that Holmes, the Aurora shooter, the same kind of thing. We know the Columbine killers, the same thing. I interviewed a, a guy who shot his parents, um, and this is what he had to say. Let's watch this. His name is Joshua Cook. A lot of these um, shooter games, when I would play these games, I just, it did a lot for me mentally where I could release my aggression with these games and I, I could almost bring my fantasies to fruition the way I would just immerse myself in these games. Sometimes I would play them 12 to 15 hours a day without leaving my room. I mean, it was pretty clear that he felt there that this was a direct link, you know, this was making it. And my sense has always been that if people are slightly disturbed to start with, then these games can make them more disturbed and potentially trigger them doing something. I don't see how this, which is, you know, it's like a, the AR-15 that I shot down in Houston. You know, it looks a bit like it, it fires like it, it feels like it. How is that not to a disturbed mind? Gonna, and this is the sniper rifle you have, yes. right? But how are these not going to make people like Joshua Cook, Adam Lanza and the others... I mean, see, I, I, immediately, I hate this. I'm sorry. I, I just I do. agree with you, and we've had this discussion. And our I can children... see they'd be hugely popular, but I hate them. Yes. Yeah, I mean, look, you know, it's a, it's a sniper rifle, and it's going to be very exciting, but a lot of kids are going to be doing this who potentially have a form of mental illness. We know that we've seen the, the pattern of this recently. Yep. There was a guy down here in Los Angeles at Santa Monica recently, yeah. you know, who just picked up a real one of these and began uh, killing people. And it is really realistic, because I know... How, that let I me give you the last word, though, because... You've got your wife and me against you. <laughs> Tell me ethically how this works for you. It works ethically because I have to say that there's... Oh, should I say it? Okay, I'm going to say it. There's four, five people here who want one from your staff who said to me, you know, I want one of these. Mm -hmm. This is the coolest thing that I have. You know, I would love to have this. Would you... Your staff wants it. I mean, and... You know, would you take that away from them, the, the joy of just having a little fun mm. in, inside their house?